So in this video, we're going to be looking at comparing box plots. Uh, a test, there's been a test, a maths test or something like that. It's a test that's been out of 18 marks. And I'm going to graph uh, the males and the females and make some comparisons between the two. Now, the males have already been graphed, okay? They're already in the diagram. We've got an outlier down here at 3, an outlier up here at 16. And really, just to make sense of how that box plot's been drawn, just to make sense of what that 6 and the 13 are. So I can identify from my diagram the lower quartile, which is 9, the upper quartile, which is 11, and the interquartile range, so that would be 11 take away 9, which is just 2. So if I was looking at outliers, outliers are found by looking at 9, the lower quartile, take away 1.5 times the interquartile range. And that gets me down to 6. OK, so this is the boundary for outliers Okay, that I've found. Now, if there were any data points that were less than 6, they would have appeared as outliers, as crosses. Here is one of them. OK, well, here is the one that was less than the 6. OK, let's have a look at this other end. OK, so that would be uh, the upper quartile, 11, plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And that's at 14, not 13. So what's going on? OK. Well, this line has been drawn here because I must then know that the next person along, down from that highest point, scored 13. OK? If I know that to be the case, then I can draw my bar, my whisker, further down. As opposed to this one, either the next person that got was a 6, or I didn't know okay, what the next person scored. So there are subtleties here. So let's have a look at the female results. Uh, we've got the lowest value of 4, lower quartile 9, median 11, upper quartile 12, highest value is 18, and I've been told that the next highest is 17. Okay, So let's see what we do. Well, let's draw in the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile first. That's the easy bit. That's still the GCSE bit. So 9, 11, and 12. So 9, 11, and 12. So there is my box. There we are. OK. So next up, I would figure out where the boundaries for the outliers are. So we want the lower quartile, take away 1.5 times the interquartile range, okay, which is 9, take away 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is going to be 3. So 9 take away 1.5 times 3 is 4.5. Okay. Now, I know that the lowest value is 4. I don't know anything else. I don't know what the next value along is. So I know that 4 is outside of that, is lower than that boundary. And so the boundary is drawn in as the next bit of information that I have. OK? So that is the information that we have from that. OK. So what next? Let's have a look at the upper quartile. So upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range is 12 plus 1.5 times 3. So 12 plus 1.5 times 3 is 16.5. So I've been told that the highest value is 18 and the next highest is 17. OK. So that means that 18 would appear as a cross. 17 would appear as a cross. They are both outliers. And the next, the boundary, is the 16.5. So I draw that in like so. So let me show you what would happen if I slightly change the problem so that now I know that the next highest isn't 17, it's 15. 
Now, 15 isn't larger than the 16.5, OK? So it's scrubbed off as an outlier, but so is the whisker, OK? Because now I go down to the next lowest that I am aware of that isn't an outlier. And so I would go to 15. So then, if I wanted to compare these results, OK, what is it telling me? Well, I can say that as the median for the females is larger than the median for the males, that on average, the females have performed better in the test. The interquartile range for the females is larger than that for the males. So that means that the females were less consistent in their results than the males. The males were more tightly bunched, okay, given by that range there, whereas the females were a bit more spread out. We could also identify clear little points as well. So the lowest score was uh, one of the males. OK, but females weren't far behind. The highest score was females, um, which was two marks above the males. So these kind of considerations um, need to be able to be written down. So when you are comparing these box plots, that you are able to read the information from them. And if you were asked to complete a box plot, then this is how you would draw it.